Now, with soaring inflation and the shadow of recession hanging over the United States, the Federal Reserve announced a 0.75 percentage point increase in interest rates. Now, at this point, when you look at oil prices and gasoline futures, it's quite clear one needs to tackle headline inflation. The U.S. Federal Reserve has raised its benchmark rate by 75 basis points, the biggest increase since 1994, to a range of 1.5% 1 to 1.75%. But the largest rate increase in a quarter century won't deliver immediate inflation relief. It will take time for higher borrowing costs to ease price pressures. This could mean more pain for Americans who are already digging into their wallets to pay more for gas, groceries and pretty much everything else. Now what we do know about the Fed rates is following the hike, Wall Street was volatile but indexes rose to session highs. The Fed chairman Jerome Powell during his press conference actually said either a 50 basis point or a 75 basis point increase seems most likely at our next meeting. The Fed chairman leaving the door open to another big increase came as a positive surprise to markets as many investors urged the Fed chief to show his seriousness in combating surging prices. It was evident investors cheered central bank officials taking a tougher stand on inflation. The Fed's move is its latest effort to quell inflation through tighter monetary policy. In fact, the Federal Open Market Committee's policy, its statement runs 368 words, and it only mentioned Ukraine, supply chain, and COVID one time each. On the other hand, inflation was cited seven times. If you glance through Asia's uh, Pacific markets, they rallied as they tracked buoyant U.S. stocks. The Federal Open Market Committee says it is strongly committed to returning inflation to its 2% objective, Remember, until recently, the central bank seemed set to approve a 0.5 percentage point increase. But economists say the rapid surge in inflation put the Fed behind the curve, meaning it needed to react strongly to prove its resolve to combat inflation. We're strongly committed to bringing inflation back down. Against this backdrop, today the Federal Open Market Committee raised its policy interest rate by three quarters of a percentage point and anticipates that ongoing increases in that rate will be appropriate. In addition, we are continuing the process of significantly reducing the size of our balance sheet. The tightening in financial conditions that we've seen in recent months should continue to temper growth and help bring demand into better balance with supply.